Hello everybody, my name is Tasman and welcome back to another NZ Wild Adventure. So yeah, I've got two weeks, so I'll just do a second navigation of Shore Island, see what we can see, uh, do a bit of fishing and hunting. Um, only got the open area to hunt because I didn't book any blocks, because this is sort of a last minute trip. So I made it to Garden Bay, which is just west of Riverton last night and launched the boat this morning and popped across Pobre Strait. Not too bad, it was a little bumpy there. So it took about two and a half hours, um, but made it to this nice little inlet. Um, just pulled up in this like lagoon thingy. Um, so there's white tail deer here and a few reds apparently. So uh, I'll try to shoot a white tail, probably a doe, because a buck would, buck would be a bit big for me to eat within I'll probably have to eat it within a week, so I'm just going to have lunch here. Then continue down to Mason Bay, where I'll spend the spend tonight. Like a pretty decent spot for a campsite. Well, unpack the boat and take it all up there. It was a little bumpier than I was hoping for, but still, it was fine. Um, it's now six o'clock, so I'll just set up camp and do a bit of exploring down there. Some fresh water. Looks like tea. Very tea coloured. There's a seal and a sea lion. Look how massive these things are. Massive cat's eyes. Yeah, here we go. This massive powers. Yeah, I'll come back here for a power or two once the tide goes out. <laughs> Still a bit tight on here. And the sun's even out. How nice. Got everything above high tide. So much crap. <laughs> time for a ginger beer. I brought a mat this time. But honestly, who put this tree here? Note to self, don't camp on cutty grass next time. Looks like there's deer here. But I can't hunt these deer because it's one of the blocks, not the open hunting area. But that's right. There's plenty of other stuff to catch. Put a few wax eyes around. All right, let's go see if I can nab a power or two. It's a pretty power shell. Now that's a fat power. Right, we've done the catch. Now we'll do the cook. The only reason the other ones went to the shallow is because they were in a pool. But pretty awesome spot. Um, camp's just behind me in the trees.
there were a couple of deer on the beach last night, but every time I tried to get out of the tent to have a look, they ran off, so no footage of that. Tracks this morning. Do you think those are kiwi holes? And also maybe this is a cat, but it seems a, a bit big. So yeah, I don't really know what that is. Yep, that's pretty tannin Oh, the sun's out again. How nice. Uh, but I just said um, unsetting camp and just gonna head off to the next place. <laughs> you just swam up to me. And it's fascinating. All the boobies stuck to the seaweed. Do you think they're eating it? And now they're moving away. I didn't know they can move that fast. It's way faster than I thought they can move. Let's go! Just started riding a little. I'm just gonna see if I can see through here. That looks pretty good. Just gonna have a look around Doughboy Bay. There's a hut just here, so I'll go write my name in it. Very cool. Yeah, so there are a few blokes in the hut, uh, in the, for the hunting vlog, so I didn't film too much there. Uh, but pretty nice hut, looks pretty cool. Nice beach, but I'll head on towards Easy Harbour. Should be about 10 or 15 kilometers from here. Might be a bit of a bash out the bay because like the weather's coming into the bay, so oh well. <laughs> well, that's a lot of spider webs. I'm not going in there. There's a cat. Let's see if we can shoot it. It was awesome. I was just about to shoot a cat when a deer jumped out of the bushes. <laughs> just ran along the beach, well sort of walked along the beach until it was about maybe 30 meters away. I had the gun ready and it's the open area but I don't know, it was quite cool just to watch it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I've seen white tail before but only the penguins beside the campsites in the northern circuit of the Rakira um, walk. So first like sort of more wilds white tail. So it was pretty cool. It was really small. It was awesome. <laughs> it's the white tail hook there. Footprints, and I take it this is a red deer. I don't think bucks would be that big, right? <laughs> Somebody swing. Bit of a tidal surge. Yep, that was pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, we'll try to. I'll try to get a deer um, in the next few days in the Easy Harbour. Um, when I'm bunkering down for the hardcore weather over the next three days. Better lunch than onwards, I reckon. It's not very windy, but it's super sloppy. So just like this, ch the chops standing up kind of like. But that's alright, I just need to go a bit slower so I don't um, smash the boat to pieces. see what we have here. It's really disappointing how much fishing rubbish there is on most of the beaches. So 
this is false easy harbour. Here's the first option at the end of Easy Harbour and there's fresh deer sign. And there's actually loads of deer sign, so very promising. I'll just go check out another beach just down there. Must be crayfish pots. So it looks like a face. And here's the other option. Yep, this will do nicely. Very nicely. Yeah, this spot looks awesome. Nice little harbour, so I put the boat there and set the tent up here. And it looks like it should be good hunting here. There's a nice big bit of pumice. That's a lot of deer sign. It's looking pretty good. I might get set the tarp up as well because it's going to be nasty for a few days. There's a few sand fires, but I've had way worse in Fjordland, so it's alright. There's the main line strung up. We'll just put the tarp over the top. Perfect timing, it's just starting to rain. Just hiding from the sandflies for a bit. It looks like the drone's taking a bit of a break, so I'm just gonna see if I can get onto a deer. My plan, my plan is simple. I'm gonna walk onto this little hill and see if anything works out on the beach. Well, the rain didn't take much of a break, but luckily I came prepared. It's only 150 meters away to there, so it may be something you'll climb out here. No, well, it's raining and the sandflies are annoying, so I'm just gonna get back down. Go for a little walk along the beach. Wow! Please don't jump on me. But yeah, way bigger than I thought it would be. Oh dude, there's a hole at the end. Well, I guess we're going to have to go through it that way. I can see footprints on the other end, so I need to go find out what made them. I think that's just a whole lot of cat prints. I don't think a deer would go through there. Yeah, so that's awesome. And for whatever reason, there's a hole through to the other beach. Yeah, we'll see if we can get onto a power from the beach. This old bird's nest has a little collection of giant cat size. Well, there's one little power. But the water that I thought was fresh actually tastes quite a lot like sulphur. So I'm going to try and collect a bit of red from the tap. I think it's weird. You're right, over. It's camp. Just going for a little explore along with the beach. Looks pretty nasty out there. A bit of rock is totally breathing. Somebody here. Can you hear that? Fascinating. Yeah, so the weather forecast looks kind of nasty for the next three days, so I'm just gonna sit, sit, like bunker down here for a bit till Tuesday. It's Saturday today, till Tuesday, so that I can head on to the next place when it's a bit uh, less windy. I'm not sure what the sandflies are up to today, but they're missing out on a meal. Man, it's kind of hot. Weirdly low numbers of sandflies, which is really nice. But also really low numbers of deer. <laughs> I haven't seen this one yet. Right, it's pretty nice outside, so I think I'll just put the boat in the water and go for a little fish. Fish on! Very nice! Very, very nice blue cod. <laughs> I don't know what that is, maybe we'll call it a comforter.
so that was cool. First fish that I caught was a massive blue cod, so I kept that and then I fished for another hour or so and caught lots of little perches and uh, kelpies. Uh, I'm inside the tent because the, there's, the wind keeps blowing sand everywhere and so everything's filling with sand which is not that nice. <laughs> some nice big fillets. Some noodles. This'll do nicely. In the remarkable turn of events, I am awake at 7.30, so I'm just going to go back up into the hill to see if there's a deer about in the early morning. I reckon it's about time for a dive, so I'm just going to get suited up and go off the beach. I also got three nice smoky. Um, I saw a shark at the end, so I got it out of order because I didn't, didn't like that. Although it was only a really small, I think probably a seven gunner, so not very dodgy. But it was swimming towards me, and I was like, oh, I don't like that. Time for another look for a deer. I'm pretty sure my camp is sort of like directly in the main path to the beach. I think just here is the main trail. So I guess maybe we have to do some bush stalking, eh? A bit of a downpour, but that's really good for my water source. Very pleased to be inside the tent. Uh, we'll just make a, a, a carry with that murky that I got this morning. It's quite a lot of fish. Didn't bring a lid, but here we go. Carry's looking nice. Mmm, looks good. Some dehydrated cooked rice that mum made for me. And a nice muscle man curry on top. Just popped out for a quick look and there's totally a deer on the beach. So I'm just going to see if I can get it. I might have cocked that up. I wanted to take some pictures of it before I shot it, but then so I ran back to the tent to get the binoculars and then I got back to the deer, took a very, very short video, and then it jumped back into the bushes. Uh, so then <laughs> I didn't get a shot. So now, then I raced up to the lookout to see if I could get a more top down view onto it. But uh, it hasn't come out again, so I might have, yeah, might have messed that one up. I'll wait up here for a bit and maybe she'll come back out again. But, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> well, that deer didn't come out again, so I think we'll call it there for part one of Shot Island Trip. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please like the video and subscribe if you feel like it, and I will see you next time. Maybe we will catch a deer then. <laughs> but yeah, pretty wicked start of the trip. Um, it's been an awesome few days. Yeah, so next episode we'll do a bit more deer hunting and then continue around the coast to Port Pegasus. I'll spend a few days in there checking it out and stuff, and then continue around the east coast.